this is the source code explanation for the Atombot robot. There's several videos on the channel regarding the the Atombot. It's the netbook and Arduino based Wi-Fi controlled from a normal computer with the, the video stream and the joystick control. Um, really there's two segments to it. There, I used uh, two Arduinos in the Atombot. One for motor control and the other one for sensor control. And the netbook, which is running Linux with a Python script for the server. And then, of course, the desktop where the, the video stream is going to and the joystick, which is also running a Python client script in order to interact with it. So basically, we'll start with the Python server script that's running on the netbook on the robot itself. Um, I use a couple of the, the modules here. I'm going to have serial communication with the Arduinos. I'm going to have to have a TCP IP socket connection for the networking and I use uh, the threading for being able to use multiple threads so you need time, queue, OS functions, all that good stuff. Basically what the, the server is doing is I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the, um, the, the main loop here is that they're going to set up the TCP IP connection um, it listens on port 9000 but you can you know change that to whatever you want the two USB controllers for um, the two Arduinos connect to all that stuff and then we're gonna have a loop where um, he just pretty much sits there and waits for a TCP, I TCP IP connection and once the uh, the client connects to him he's gonna receive the data um, there's a couple statements in here that I use the to play some wave functions to make the the HAL 9000 sounds just some some simple wave audio for for fun but uh, there's a couple commands that, that, that go through and um, Obviously, one of them is manual mode. So, if you, if you send uh, the M command through for manual mode, it's going to go at, go ahead and um, take a look at the data coming through from the the joystick and everything, and it's going to see what to write to the motor controller on the Arduino. Um, those commands are usually uh, numbers. I have zero through four here, and it just writes it out to the Arduino, and it you know stands for different forward, left, right, back, all that stuff. And then, um, of course. They can close manual mode with uh, the X command coming from the, the joystick, the, the client machine. And it closes the manual mode and go ahead and waits for the next connection. Of course, there's also the uh, autonomous mode that pretty much just gives control to the Arduino sensor module to control the motor module. And um, what, the, what that does right there is you're going to go ahead and once the autonomous mode started from the client, it's going to start communicating with the sensor modules to uh, record, you know, that's where the, the, the sensors are for um, IR, object detection, and optional, you know, if you want sound control for actual distance detection. And it's going to pretty much just, the netbook will act as a, a forwarder between the sensor Arduino and the motor Arduino, sending it commands and telling it how long to, to wait for. It's going to go ahead and look for an, another one. And then once that loop is exited, the autonomous mode is exited from the client. It's going to go ahead and wait for another connection. There's another one that's in here If you on the joystick. If you do the yaw control, the IR sensor, it's on a servo. It'll look left and right and it'll report back if it's found a, an object or not to the, to the client. And other than that, it, it's pretty much just sitting there waiting. Um, really, the, the multi-threading comes in is with the sensor data. You want to be able to run another thread that's always checking the, the sensor data and when sensor data comes up go ahead and interact with the, the program whether you're in manual mode, autonomous mode or whatever you're doing and say hey you know there's, there's an object or, or something like that to, to take control but really doesn't use much resources and uh, it's, it's pretty pretty simple pretty pretty basic just using serial TCP IP and, and of course the threading module in Python so on that note we'll stick with the server and um, I'll talk about the Arduino source code. There's two Arduinos, and I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but um, this is the motor controller source code, and basically all it's doing is using a the H bridges. Um, it's got two motors and DC motors, and it's just going to wait for a serial connection. And I just gave it zero through four commands: forward, left, right, backward, stop. And motor control just it sets the speed on the for the controllers and it tells the motors which way to go. Uh, real basic, 
real simple, nothing special there on that Arduino. Just really using two of them for added functionality in the future. And then the sensor module, they use a sharp IR sensor that I mentioned was on a servo so it can take positions, you know, left, right, forward and see if there's an object there. And then um, there's also little IR detectors on the outside, left and right, of the whole Atombot robot itself. Because if you see the other videos, the netbook's like wider than than the actual chassis, so I have those two on there, left and right, for added control. And then all it does is communicate serial. Um, we're gonna go ahead and you know set up the the functions for the servo and everything. And then if there's serial available, it'll read it in. And really, the only thing that the sensor takes in is that command with the yaw joystick to say, okay. Um, let's go ahead and move the servo left, right, and forward and, and take IR readings and you know shoot back if there's an object there or not. That's really the only thing that that does. Other than that, it's just pulling the, um, the other IR sensors to make sure that there's no objects detected. And if there is, it uh, shoots it back um, on the serial bus to, to the, the laptop server. So really, I mean, it's all just simple infrared object detection. There's no distance. There's no calculations. It's just either object there or object not, and printing it out on the serial bus. Uh, there's an ISR routine that I commented out that I was trying to use before. So that's pretty much all it is for the Arduinos and the actual Python server script that's running. On the client side, I did Python again, and this is pretty much because I used a joystick. This is all taken from, as you can see here, the uh, principalabs.com. These guys are the ones that originally did the j USB joystick Python control with servos. Um, I just used their code and changed it a little bit. Those guys are really great. You know, I'm not trying to take any you know, account saying that I did all this joystick stuff. I definitely did not. Uh, the only thing I really added in here was obviously the TCP IP connections because we're going to have to go ahead and shoot out to the server itself. And here we just have a loop where we're going to connect to the server and then put a command prompt out and from the keyboard you can uh, go ahead and, and you know um, manual mode, autonomous mode, and if you do hit manual mode, that's when it kicks over to the joystick, and that's where all the, the Principal Labs joystick code comes in, which is up here, and basically all it does is, when you're moving the joystick, left, right, up, and down, or, or whatever you want, it's going to shoot out position statements, and in their co original code, that went right to this, the Arduino with the, the servos. So the only thing I did differently is I send out that data over the TCP IP connection and then the motor Arduino takes control from there. There's also buttons too from the joysticks. My trigger button is the only one that I use um, and that, that the trigger button means if you're in manual mode, stop being in manual mode. Um, so that's real simple. It just sends it out over the network and the server takes control of it. And then the autonomous mode is going to go ahead and just send out the connection to enter autonomous mode and it's going to wait for um, you to press enter on the keyboard when you want to stop autonomous mode and then the robot stops. Um, and then the uh, I command, which I said is also um, the yaw on the joystick, will just tell you if there's an object forward, left, or right using the, the IR sensor on the servo motor. And other than that, it just closes the connection and uh, real real simple, nothing nothing too intense here. And that's pretty much all four elements of the source code in Python and the Arduino sketches to enable Atombot to run as of right now. The video stream is just VLC streaming from the netbook to the, the, the client machine. Nothing special there. I don't superimpose anything on top of that. So if you're interested in the code, I hope this was a good explanation. Um, if you have more questions, feel free to ask me. Thanks for watching.